Welcome back to Fast Money. Check out shares of Microsoft higher in the after hours session after better than expected earnings, although slightly slowing cloud growth. The tech giant has been on a big run this year, surging more than 20%, sitting near all time highs, uh, up 1% right now. Pete, what do you think? You know, the focus has been on the cloud, and you said slowing, and that, that I think is why we're seeing this move that's not exactly a violent move to the upside. I think as people digest it, just like they did last quarter, last quarter they released their numbers, suddenly the stock was down a few percent, and then by the time they actually gave their guidance, stock started moving higher, and by the time we opened the next day, I think we were up 4% or something like that. Azure has slowed down. It was 93%, now it's 89% growth. That's still pretty incredible. And I think what they're doing is eating away at AWS. So as that continues to go and that growth rate is much faster than Amazon right now, I think that's going to be something very, very beneficial. I think investors are going to see that, and I think they're going to like this stock. If I gave you all the metrics that we know about Microsoft and what they reported, slowing growth in the cloud, what would you say the stock uh, reaction would be? Well, I mean, I think it's, I mean, really, uh, I think it's important to put it in context. What, yeah. what Pete's saying is they did $7 billion in their commercial cloud, and it grew at 53% year over year. So that's fantastic, right? It's almost 25% of their total sales. And I think it really is about expectations. The fact that, to your point, the fact that the stock is basically unchanged, the implied move in the, in the, in the options market, about 3.5% either way, that's pretty good. It shows you that there's buyers, and they're pretty happy about a run rate of at $40 billion dollars in, in commercial cloud. And this sales. is at a stock, sorry to interrupt, at the stock that's very close to its highs. All-time right. high. Yes, All yeah, time absolutely. High. Yeah, Peace. Yeah, I mean, listen, they've done a great job in that. I'm not concerned over slowing growth when you're talking numbers like 50, 80, 90 percent. That doesn't concern me. I don't think it's going to concern the market one bit. You know, I want to see, as we go through this, what that GitHub acquisition is going to do for them. 58 percent margins in the cloud business, which means now their operating margins for the entire company is now 34.5 percent, which is better than the street was looking for. If you're looking for a reason to sell or knock Microsoft, I'm not suggesting it should be. The one thing would be valuation. Now, trading at 28 times, does that valuation, is it justified by their growth rate? Now, if cloud continues to grow, my sense is yes, and the stock continues to grind higher. But if there's one fly in the ointment, I guess it would be valuation. Well, that's really important. I just say on a PE to growth basis in 2000, fiscal 2018, which just completed, this was a mid-25 uh, PE growing at mid-25 earnings growth. Um, if you look at 2019 estimates, we're getting to mid to high single digits earnings and sales growth. So you put a mid-25-ish uh, PE on it, it is expensive all of a sudden. So you might at 105 have much of the growth priced into this thing, in my opinion. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.